feel like the world's biggest piece of you know what right now. Yesterday when I checked on the chicks, um, there was a considerable loss. Um, it was colder in there than I suspected that it was going to get and they all huddled on top of each other and essentially suffocated the ones on the bottom. I tried to move the heat lamps further apart and closer to the ground, which they were already pretty close. Um, and it wasn't until this morning when there, when I found another considerable loss of their little lives that I was thinking, what in the world is going on? One heat lamp in there was making it really warm when the puppies were in there. I just don't understand. And then something in my brain clicked and I realized they're larger animals and they're putting off body heat. All of those puppies and the mom were putting off body heat, making it warmer in there than just the heat lamp. And when I realized that, I was like, I'm so upset with myself. Like, the hardest part of homesteading is this right here. When you make a mistake, and it's not just something stupid that you can just like, oh, I'm so dumb. Like, when you lose lives, that sucks, like, really bad. Um, I didn't want to make this video, like, I don't, I don't like, like, focusing on negative things, I guess, but I also don't want someone to see my last video and copy that and make the same mistake I did. Even though it's not getting below freezing, it's still too cold, it's too large of an area, so I'm gonna try to mitigate it and make it a smaller area so the two heat lamps will keep them much warmer than it is right now. I thought they were old enough, I thought they had enough feathers, I thought there was enough of them that they would keep each other warm but not like this. This is something that I've never experienced before. I'm gonna try to fix it. So hopefully this works and I'll update tomorrow on <laughs> if we've lost any more. This will help.
today's like today that I question what it is I'm trying to do and like I have to remind myself that yes there's going to be losses but it's not like in factory farming there aren't losses. I'm sure their losses are so much more significant than anything I could even fathom. Um, but it still sucks, you know? Like, the reason that I do what I do is because I don't want animals to suffer and die and be sick. And when that happens on my farm, it's like, I feel like a piece of poo. As long as you learn from your mistakes, then you're at least on the right track. Having cute puppies around helps too. <laughs> I know, hello sweetheart. There's my baby. Wish I would have kept the smelly little bastards in my shower right about now. I cannot take any more heartache today. Are you all right? Hey. Are you okay? You all right, bud? You just enjoying the warmth? Looks like it. Was you sleeping? Don't do that to me.
really thankful that you guys got to see not just the losses that happen on a homestead, but you got to see some of the really amazing parts as well. The parts that make it all worth it. <laughs> the parts that make the really hard times a little easier to bear. Thanks for watching. Come back sometime soon. Much love from Hidden Acres Homestead.